you're just not going to win. They say all in, but the number of homes that they had was what, like 2,000? I guarantee you that Marriott public stockholders are not going to have the conviction or the wherewithal to say, let's go dump a ginormous amount of money chasing number two. God, this was hilarious. Marriott CEO, he's declaring war on Airbnb. They've got 1.3 million hotel rooms. If you remember a few years ago, they acquired uh, Starwood um, Hotels and, 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 and became the, by far kind of the largest hotel company in the world or now. Um, right. And they have now gone all in on competing with Airbnb for uh, rentals, you know, in a home. Well, that, they say all in, but uh, the number of homes that they had was what, like 2,000? Yeah, uh, we, we, this, this goes back to the conversation I think we had uh, last week about you know, kind of fake marketplace initiatives where they say, oh, we're doing a marketplace. We're competing with Airbnb now. That's whole homes and Airbnb does it by listing. So those are not all entire houses. But Airbnb has about six million listings. So you're, yeah. I'm, I'm Marriott. If I'm saying I'm going all in on something, I'm off by a couple orders of magnitude. Uh, it doesn't seem like they're going all in on it if they're that far off. Well, and here's the thing. It's a winner take all market. As we have said, I will bet anyone that Marriott does not become the number two, uh, you know, rental home platform. And here's why. There's already a number two and it's called VRBO. There is no way that Marriott is going to supplant VRBO as the number two to Airbnb. There's Airbnb, there's VRBO, and then there's Marriott all the way down here. And I have absolutely no clue how they are going to even come close to VRBO, let replace vrbo as the number two it's uh, definitely a big task if i'm them i'm hoping that you know i can i can combine that with my existing slate i think they have a million or so rooms which is significant market share in the hotel space but this is a a, a somewhat different market as we've seen with airbnb and having a million hotel rooms doesn't necessarily mean you're going to crack open that uh you know home sharing and rental market now here's what here's what marriott should be let's be positive okay they should go buy sonder sonder is basically like um, a hotel, but on Airbnb. And Saunders whole philosophy is that it's linear. It's not a platform, but that we are going to basically either buy entire uh, kind of apartment buildings and then put them on Airbnb. And the cost of customer acquisition is so low on Airbnb that I can build a brand on Airbnb. So Sonder to me is the 21st century Marriott. And that's really what Marriott should be doing is saying, I'm going to go buy Sonder and we are going to become the dominant brands on Airbnb. And I can, and, and right now there are no recognizable brands on Airbnb, which is basically just free greenfield for me to go and do that. And all of the people go, who go on Airbnb now, when they see an apartment listed on Airbnb from Sonder or you know Marriott, they will associate a certain level of quality, a certain level of service, a certain kind of feeling with that property and they'll be much more comfortable to book that branded property on Airbnb than some random person's home. And that's the whole play. I think it makes complete sense, but um, there's no way that it would be like Marriott saying, we're going to go compete with Expedia and booking.com. Instead, now they're saying we're going to compete with Airbnb and Expedia. You're just not going to win. Definitely a big uphill fight. And if they're actually going to fight this fight, they need to go uh, much more aggressively to have an impact. I think that uh, if you're not, not going to win the platform fight, which it doesn't seem like they're really in it to win it, then finding out how you can leverage your position as a brand like Merit is to get a great partnership out of someone like Airbnb makes sense as a play. But I think, I think the, the platform opportunity was there. There might be a little bit late to that. And if you're too late to it, then you got to figure out how you work within that ecosystem. Now. Marriott bought Starwood in 2016. If, if I think they, uh, they spent $13 billion buying Starwood. If they had spent $13 billion to compete with Airbnb in 2016, maybe they could have been number two. But instead, they decided to consolidate. They decided to do the traditional thing that all the big linear players typically do when faced with platform competition, which is consolidate supply, you know, rip out costs, consolidate these things and just do roll-ups. And instead, now, Airbnb was founded in, in 2008. You know, it's over 10 years, and um, they're, they're the next one to go public pretty soon. It yeah. just, 
it's too far. And, and, and I guarantee you that Marriott public stockholders are not going to have the conviction or the wherewithal to say, let's go dump a ginormous amount of money chasing number two, which is Expedia, not even Airbnb. So it just, I don't know. It just doesn't make any sense. These are smart guys. I just don't understand why they kind of go down these paths. It's just so late. 